Musician, violinist, and now singer, Nitzan Chen Razer Shalom. Today uh, we are with you with your new album. We've seen you many times on the stage with your violin, but now we're talking about Nitzan Chen Razer, the singer. Yes, well, it, it came naturally, slowly, slowly. At the beginning, uh, as you said, I'm uh, a violinist and I mostly play, I'm, I'm playing with Ehud Banai and his band. And uh, during the years, I'm playing with him like 15 years. I started singing back vocals and found the special balance between playing and singing because to sing with the violin it's an art, it's a skill, let's say, and you have to uh, find the balance and to, because the violin also sings, so when you sing you have to accompany with the violin and it's a challenge and I like to do it. It's a bit hard to give up the violin, I mean I saw you trying to touch the violin when it was time to sing. That's right. Uh, yeah, I try to understand uh, when when is my uh, uh, important role to do right now in the minute in the song. When is to sing and when the time? When is the time to to play? I have a fantastic model for that. It's an American singer songwriter Andrew Bird, uh, which I like very much, and uh, I was inspired very much by him. So what is it about the violin that makes it so unique? It has this uh, a special magic. Yeah, it is. I think, as I said before, the violin sings with you. It, it really sings because it's, it's like, uh, let's say it's um, the violin sing when your singing is over. And, uh, and it has a really special soul in it. And it's no, uh, it's no doubt that every, almost every culture has its own violin music. You know, the Jewish music, the klezmer music, which is so unique. And every popular and ethnic music, jazz, rock, volcanic, Arabic, whatever, has it. So uh, it's a special instrument and I'm, I'm glad that I, I stayed with him all over the years, you know. We had ups and downs, you know. You start as a classical man, you continue as a rock, player and the juice music singer. And today you were not only celebrating your new album, you were also here with uh, your cousin, Jonathan Rosell, a very uh, musical and very spiritual family. Yes, yes, Baruch Hashem, I, uh, I'm happy to be part of this family. It was very, very, uh, I was very, very happy that Jonathan uh, came and sang and performed with me. Uh, he's a great musician, great singer, great composer. And uh, Jonathan and Aaron and his brother, and all of us, three of us, uh, uh, released our, uh, an album like this month, so it's uh, really celebrating. And I'm, uh, I have uh, a lot to learn from my cousin, and I'm happy to, you know, we're very close friends. and. I hope, uh, you know, we can do together music. that you uh, you came closer to Judaism uh, also in, from the influence of uh, this family the Razel family uh, yes yes when I was a child uh, their house their father's house was the house that I encountered Judaism I encountered uh, 
at Knesset at Shul, uh, went to prayers. Uh, even I was an outsider. I tried, you know, in the beginning I was... Uh, I came, came a lot in uh, Shabbos to, to, to visit them and I, and I asked my parents to stay, stay the night, stay over. Uh, how do you say it? Sleep over? And in the morning, you know, they're going to they're going to synagogue. I'm waking late, but still coming, still participating. And during the years, I you know, I, I went a lot to the, with them to Selichot. In their, it was like a bilui, uh, entertainment for me, uh, more than entertainment. Like, but really fun to go with them to a uh, uh, whole experience to, to to wake up early and to to go to this ancient synagogue in Jerusalem. So uh, being there to get inside Judaism, to get inside music, uh, they encountered a lot of music to me and also, you know, benching together, uh, a strong experience. It's Angel Mazel. Good luck. Thank you very much. I hope everybody's going to enjoy it. All the best. Thank you very much.